stampers are you getting ready for mystery stamping i am just testing out the camera here and checking my computer so i'll be able to pop up and answer questions and comments as we're going along so give me just one second here All righty, good deal. I'm so happy that everybody could join in today. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Ann, the Stamp Maven, and I live in North Texas. I was just with a few of my stamping friends this morning, my ladybug scrapping group that we had our stamp club and made a few projects. Uh, our friend Dorothy has these just delicious sausage rolls that she makes, or sausage bread, and she made a salad. So we got to stamp and craft. We all had our masks on, and it was just a great time. Um, I am going to flip my camera down now so you will be able to see clue number one and your stamping supplies in case you haven't, hey Donna, in case you haven't been able to get them yet, I wanted you to be able to see them and hopefully you have gotten yours cut up and you're ready to go. All right. And I will try to, looks like I need to, yep, there they are. They're in the screen now. And those of you that are watching live, hello, hello put a quick comment of where you're from and what the weather's like today. Here in North Texas, it is just beautiful for a Halloween. I know it's going to be a little odd from how it normally is. I'm going to be heading over to see my youngest little granddaughter when mystery stamping is over. I'm going to be dressing up as Minnie Mouse so she'll be able to see me. Um, let me just do one thing and we are going to get rolling. It's kind of hard to um, for me to check the comments as I'm going along, but I'm going to try to do my best so that if you guys have questions, we can do that. Now, if you, at the end of this, I will be uh, hitting the recording and I'll also be posting it on YouTube. So if you have any friends that you think might like this, then they can see the recording. Alrighty then, are you ready to get stampin' and solve the mystery? So, Clue number one, again, was your supplies. And if you are part of my newsletter community, you get these clues on Friday night so you can get everything ready. And if you don't get my newsletter, you can join at stampmaven.com. All righty, so here's clue number two. So using your adhesive, whatever you have, you want to adhere your designer series paper, which is just um, a term for patterned paper, something like this. You are going to take that piece that measures two and a half by a quarter, and you're going to adhere it to the left side of that four and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. And once you're done, put done number two or done two in the comments. 
so I'll know if we're staying along. Now, some people who watch don't comment, but that's okay. Um, as we're going along, I'll see who's done it. All right. Oh, Donna, it's beautiful in Florida. Remind me what part of Florida you're in. Um, I am a Disney World person. Of course, we haven't been uh, this year. And actually, it's been a few years since we've gone. But I'd love to get uh, some of my youngest grandkids to go. We have three. Our son and his wife have three. And our daughter and her husband have one. And they are expecting another one in about a month. So we are very excited about that. Okay, Melissa, you're done. Great. And I think, Donna, you're done. So let's go on to number two, or clue number three. So using adhesive, you are going to adhere the white cardstock that you cut that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches to the right side of that four and a half by 11 piece of colored cardstock. All right, let's. Let's get that done and let me go refresh my comments. Oh, two hours south of Tampa. My in-laws, when uh, they were alive, they lived in Tampa. They um, actually, my father-in-law was the managing director for Del Monte in the Philippines, but when they moved back to the States, they lived in Tampa for a couple of years, and we loved visiting them there. Such a beautiful area. All right, let's see here. Zipping along. Mm -hmm. All right, looks like we're done with three. So we will move on to four. I like to do this mystery stamping because it's something that doesn't take a whole lot of time, but it's always fun to see what everyone comes up with. Okay, so clue number four, using adhesive again, you're going to adhere the DSP that measures three and a quarter by four inches to the correct area on your three and a half by ten and three quarters cardstock. Now, I wanted to just show you on this piece of white cardstock, just in case you're confused. So, this is that three and a half by ten and three quarters cardstock, and you scored it according to the clue. So, right here on this left side, that is where you're going to adhere down that DSP or designer series paper, patterned paper. So hopefully that makes sense for you. All right. All right, good. Melinda and Melissa and Donna are done. Okay, cool beans. Melissa, where do you live? If you don't mind putting that in the comments. And are you having snow today? Are you having nice weather? I just, you know, it's so funny here in Texas. I grew up in California where, you know, let's be honest, it was almost 70 degrees year round. We did have some rain and... um it was hot, but nothing like Texas. So I do miss that California weather. We lived, we lived in Connecticut for three years, and I surely miss the seasons. I like the snow and the fall foliage. My husband didn't care for the snow as much since he was the one shoveling it. All right, number five. Now what I want you to do, using your adhesive, you're going to add the whisper white layer that measures three and three quarters 
to the right side of the three and a half by ten and three quarters cardstock. So that would be right here. You added your designer series paper here, and then you're going to add that three by three and a quarter piece of Whisper White right over here. Hopefully that makes sense. Some of you might even be figuring out kind of what we're doing here, but shh, don't say anything yet. Okay. Hello, Joan Green. Oh, and Melissa, you're from New York. Just a couple of flurries. So at least you're not buried by uh, snow drifts. All right, let me refresh here so we can catch any comments where everybody might need a little bit of... Um, instruction but boy it looks like you guys are right on top of things and remember if you want to make more of these cards you can um watch the recording later and then have a fun time making more cards all right let's zoom on to clue number six now this is important you want to add your adhesive only to the ends of your three and a half by ten and three quarters layer. So if this is the front of it, you're only going to add your adhesive here and here. So again, it will just be on the back, right where my finger is, and right here too. And then once you've put that adhesive, you want to attach it to that four and a half by 11 inch layer. And I'm gonna give you a minute and make sure that makes sense to y'all. Oh, the Finger Lakes area of central New York, not near the city. So that's more like out in the country. We lived in Norwalk, Connecticut, which I guess was about a half an hour or 40 minutes south of the city. Um, I think that's right that we were south. We didn't go in. Well, my husband went in every day and went out to the boroughs, but the kids and I only went in sometimes if we had visitors and we went to Central Park and places. Finger Lake sounds beautiful. All right, let's see here. Oh, Donna, you were raised in the Finger Lakes. Man, what a small world. And do me a favor if you're stamping along. Once you're done with clue number six, if you could type done six into the, um, okay, Donna, you're confused. Let me show you. Okay, so here is your four and a half by 11 inch uh, layer. Now yours will be colored. Then here is the three and a half by 10 and three quarters. So you put adhesive on the back of this and then you put adhesive on the back of this and you're going to attach it just by the ends to that other cardstock. Does that help it a little bit so you can see? Hopefully that uh, makes it up because you want this middle piece not to be attached. So just right here, and then attach it about a half an inch from the left edge. Then you've got your adhesive on this piece on the back, and attach it about a half an inch too. And you'll see why after we get this all done. All right, give me a little comment and let me know if that makes sense. Oh, Joan, you're in Yonkers. Boy, we've got a big New York contingency here. Oh, that's great. All right. Let me refresh my comments so I can see 
Donna, if that makes sense, especially. All right, let me give you a minute here, Donna, and anybody else that might be a little confused. Sometimes, you know, it's hard to do it just from a clue. I like to make just a piece of white so I don't give away my card and hopefully keep you from being confused. So when you're all done with number six, go ahead and put that on there. And we will, okay, Melissa, you're done. Let me show you just while we're waiting for a couple of the others to finish up. I also do monthly technique classes live on Facebook. Oh, good. You got it, Donna? And I wanted to show you, here are a couple of fall cards. We did the masking technique on this card, and then I used the die cut that I had punched out and that had been my mask here to make these fall cards. And I used an embossing folder here, used some of this plaid paper and some little embellishments. We use these at Stamp Club today. I love these little copper acorns. I think Stampin' Up! has such fun embellishments. All right, so it looks like you guys have given me the move on sign. So we will move to clue number seven. Okay, now you should have a piece of two inches by three and a half inches Whisper White cardstock. So what I want you to do now is stamp your images and a sentiment if you pull that out on that Whisper White layer. Now, if you chose an image that needs to be punched out or die cut or fussy cut using scissors, go ahead and stamp that on a different piece of paper and then die cut it, punch it, or cut it out. And it is perfectly fine if that image that you cut out hangs off this layer a little bit. And you'll see why when we finish that. But you can just go ahead and get all that prepped. And I'm going to show you a couple other uh, fun little projects. Uh, Donna joined us for my uh, kitchen sink card making online class, and I think you watched the recording, Donna, but here are a couple of the cards that I showed the ladies. Um, this was a bottle cap that I started out with, and then this is some Stampin' Up! paper and one of our little jars that has a punch couple of real little sayings. And then this was a butterfly by Stampin' Up! that I had used a fun embossing technique with and cut it out. And then this was just a price tag and I stamped hello on that. My friend Chris, who did the class with me, we are definitely going to be doing another kitchen sink card making class because we had so much fun. All right. So give me a, when you're done stamping and cutting, I'm going to wait just a little bit longer than with the other clues to give everybody a chance so they won't be rushed with number seven. Oh my goodness. I, um, I always get my grandkids' uh, stuff for Halloween. The, my son and daughter-in-law's kids are older, but I still get them candy. And normally, I'm done super quick. I probably have everything bought in September. Well, <laughs> not this year. Um, I was out actually yesterday and got it. And oh my goodness. There was hardly anything left at the store. I don't venture out too much. Um, I, in addition to doing Stampin' Up! for uh, full time, I also have a another job, but I work remotely most of the time. And my husband is semi-retired. He usually does the grocery shopping with masks and everything, but um, we try to not be out and about too much, but 
um, I've got to see my grandkids, right? All right, let's check here and see how we're doing. All right, looks like we're done with that. Yeah, we, my husband and I, uh, well, I earned the Stampin' Up! trip, and we were supposed to go to Maui in July, but of course that didn't happen, so the trip has been rescheduled to May, and we're hoping we're going to get to go. My husband's brother and his family live um, on Oahu, so we're planning to extend and see them, so... We'll see if, uh, Lord willing, that'll happen. All right, clue number eight. All right, now, using adhesive, you want to adhere that layer that you just um, stamped on to the colored cardstock that measures two and a quarter by three and a half. So you should have your colored cardstock, then you want to adhere that piece you just stamped and your sentiment and your image and then you want to add that layer to the top of the DSP panel that you added to that three and a half by ten and three quarters piece. So remember your panel, your DSP panel, you attached here so you're going to attach that stamped layer right on top of here. You can use Stampin' Dimensionals or glue dots or regular adhesive or I guess we used to call them pop dots in the day. I know when I was a Girl Scout leader, we called them pop dots. <laughs> but I know at Stampin' Up! we call them Stampin' Dimensionals. All right, so that's clue number eight. So when you're done with that, give me a done eight. All right. These are so fun for me. I just love getting together with you guys on a Saturday morning and just doing some fun stamping. Um, hopefully Saturday is a good day, but if there's another time that works better, uh, I'd love to hear that too in the comments because it just, of course, we want as many people as possible to be joining us. So let's see. Are you guys, do you have little grands or kids that will be doing any trick or treating? Our church did trunk or treating last weekend. And my goodness, we had planned for, I think, about 200 people, and there ended up being like 700. It just blew everybody away. All right, looks like you guys are done with eight. You guys are rocking along. Okay. So clue number nine, if you want to add any embellishments to your card front or if you want to stamp a sentiment on the inside, go ahead and do that right now. And if you don't, that's fine too, or you can add it later. So you can give me a done nine when you're ready, and then we'll move on. Mm -hmm. All right, you girls, you ladies are doing a fabulous job. Hopefully technology someday in the future will all be able to be on live. I know we can do Zoom, but um, I've done Zoom with my stamp clubs and that's a little, that has its challenges as well. So, um, I like to do it this way, and usually I have my laptop right beside me so I can see your comments as we're going along, but I've got them on my uh, big computer, so that's why I kind of have to hop back and forth, but you guys are very understanding. 
All righty. Okay. So let me know, done nine, if you've got your embellishments on or if you're not going to add any now. And then we will move along here. All right. So, all right. The mystery is solved. You guys have your card, and I'm going to show you mine. Does yours look like mine? I know you won't have the same paper and stuff, but this is called a double Z-fold card. And what's really fun is I just did mine fairly simple. I stamped Happy Thanksgiving, and I did a little pumpkin. And then what I did inside, um, I'm, can you see it here on my little layer that's covered up for the most part, but you can see it peeking out. I stamped some pumpkins and the pumpkin uh, stamp. So I used Mango Melody cardstock and then I used this plaid uh, paper. It's called Plaid Tidings, and it is so fun. It's got all these neat fall, Christmas. You have uh, plaids in here that you could use for masculine, Valentine's Day. I actually got two packs of this just because I loved it so much. So did your card kind of fold like mine? Did you end up with a double Z fold? If you didn't, hey, it doesn't matter. It's just fun. Oh, thank you, Marilyn and Melissa. There is no wrong. There is just an opportunity to embellish, you know, but now you kind of know how to do it so you can do it again if you want to. Well, I wanted to just give you a quick little, you can, if you want to email me with any questions, you can do that at ann at stampmaven.com. My blog is just stampmaven.com. That's where you can um, join my newsletter. And I'm right in the middle of my 12 weeks of Christmas. It is a free uh, weekly tutorial that I send out only to my newsletter subscribers. And the first five weeks, you've gotten cards. The next, you're going to get gift ideas and then bags, tags, and wraps. And then this is my Stampin' Up! site, annbrown.stampinup.net. So... If you decide you need any supplies or just want to check out what we have, you can go there. Joan, thanks so much. I'm glad you guys all had a great time. I will post, I think we'll be able to do this in another week. I'm kind of on standby because my little grand is coming along, but I really love doing this, so stay tuned and we will do this again real soon. Thanks so much for coming along and playing today, and you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.